Alright, welcome to the channel ladies and gentlemen. Today we're looking at Batwoman uh, and apparently my dog jumping around in the background. So Batwoman was allegedly a victim of review bombing over on Rotten Tomatoes. However, you know, when that all came out that it was being review bombed, I did a video on it here, uh, I did say there and then that it was unlikely that that was the case. In fact, it all seemed pretty legitimate. Now, Ruby Rose and the CW's Batwoman tanks in ratings and viewership with episode two. So, again, to everyone that was like, oh no, it's 100%, of course, yeah, definitely, it's all just review bombs, these people are just trolls. This adds more fuel to the fire that it's absolutely not. So let's get into it, but just before we do, uh, the reason why I'm talking so slow is I am very, very sick. Uh, I don't really look it, but I can assure you, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not feeling too hot right now. Um, so hang in there with me, uh, and I really do appreciate it. But anyway, so let's, let's look at this, right? Ruby Rose and the CW's Batwoman tanked in the ratings with the release of episode 2, The Rabbit Hole, on Sunday night. Now this, is, this isn't just pulled from some you know, right-wing media or any of that nonsense. We've got TV Line, okay? They're reporting that the second episode had a 0.3 rating and only had 1.46 million viewers. Now, that sounds like a reasonable amount, doesn't it? No, wrong. The first episode had a 0.47 rating, so nearly 0.5 uh, in the 18 to 49 demographic, and it had a lot more views, 1.86 million views that's a lot to drop off it's not a small amount that is an awful lot now there was an encore which aired on monday last week that saw the show bring in 1.1 million total viewers so not only did people not want to watch it again but then when going back for a second episode a huge percentage of people dropped off and that really is a big percent so without factoring in the encore audience the show had a 36% loss in its ratings and an over 22% loss in its total viewers. If you factor in the encore and assume it was all new viewers, the total viewer loss was over 50%. But let's not do that. Let's, you know, let's just, as is, 36% is a lot. We don't need to, you know, inflate it with other all new viewers and things like that. I think generally speaking that some of them will be new viewers on the encore. Of course, there will be. But that being said, even if they weren't, that's still a huge drop-off. Now, the show's audience score on Rotten Tomatoes continues to be in the dumpster, with a 12% rating from 5,119 user ratings. The average is actually 1.2 out of 5. However, the critics' tomato meter score still sits at 69%, with an average of 6.42 out of 10. So, logic would take that would be... 64 percent wouldn't it <laughs> if it's if it's average rating of 6.42 out of 10 how's how do you get 69 percent and that's still only from 39 reviews so not nearly as many people have reviewed it again i did this in that video i've just linked people don't care about this they're not going to be reviewing it they simply do not care now there are 27 fresh reviews and 12 rotten so it's interesting isn't it batwoman airs on sundays at 8 p.m on the cw and exclusively streams on the cw app and website on mondays the next episode down 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 airs on october 20th uh, i am gonna be looking I, I know i'm doing it to myself i'm gonna have to watch batwoman um but i want to give you my thoughts i don't want to just merely spout about it you know i'd like to actually engage with it at, at the very least try uh, and give you my review of it. It might be that it is a complete dump to the fire. It's looking likely. Um, but if I didn't if I didn't watch it, then, uh, you know, it's not particularly great, is it? You, sh you really should have a good watch of something whilst you continue to uh, bash it like I do. So not only was Batwoman's viewership down, but Supergirl's ratings and viewership also plummeted. So TV Line reports that Supergirl dropped to 03 on the rating, with total viewership at under a million, only 974,000. That's crazy. 
That is insanity. Now, the premiere episode had a 0.37 rating and 1.263 million viewers. It was a 23% drop in viewership and 25% drop in ratings. So, either people are just getting sick to death of this CW trash, uh, or people are just, I don't know, it's like rapture, it's the end times, people are just oh, disappearing up into the sky, like, fucking who knows. Uh, TV series finale reports that Supergirl averaged a 0.35 rating in the 18 to 40, 49 demographic. So that is their demographic. I'd imagine the demographic would be a little bit younger than 49, but maybe single mothers and things like that want to watch it. Get empowered. <laughs> uh, and an average of 1.21 million viewers per episode in season four. So that's, I mean, that's a, a relatively big drop, really. It's not a small amount um, at all. Now, the show had much smaller drop-off in its viewership and ratings between the first two episodes in Season 4. It premiered with 1.523 million viewers and a 0.45 rating. By the second episode, it would have a 0.38 rating and a total viewers of 1.341 million. So that was a 15% drop and almost 12% drop. So uh, it's not a small amount, you know, this stuff... It's not universally liked, is it? Critics seem to like it, but again, when we take that into account, it's only 11 people have reviewed it. It's not exactly like people are rushing out to view it, even from a critic standpoint. And bearing in mind, a lot of these people are forced to watch it for outlets. Even they're not watching it. So what does that say, hey? Now, the show's season 4 finale would have a 0.3 rating and total viewership of 1... Well, basically 1 million. Uh, close to 1.1, but, you know, 1, yeah... 1.07 million. Supergirl's Rotten Tomatoes score is not nearly as bad as Batwoman. The audience score sits at 59% with 63 user ratings. And the average rating is 3.1 out of 5. The critics score is 99% rating with an average of 7.8 out of 10 average. So is it not fucking 78%? Rotten Tomatoes, sort your shit out. This is why no one trusts you. They don't trust a word you say. Because that doesn't make sense, mate. Now, I'm not the best at maths. But Jesus Christ, I'm not that stupid. So, Supergirl airs on the CW on Sundays at 9pm. The next episode of Blurred Line debuts on 20th. So, what do you guys think of this? Because, again, there were so many. So many articles that were dropping. Uh, literally dropping like flies about Batwoman being absolutely review bombed. Slammed it was, ladies and gents. It was slammed. In fact, I think even Screen Rant had one. Um, let's have a good old look at this. Here you go. Look at here. <laughs> Batwoman has been review bombed by audiences. Here's why. I'll tell you why. Shit. Batwoman has been review bombed on Rotten Tomatoes even though it's only been out for a short while. In my video, I had a really good comparison. And and I think it's I think it's true. I think it's a good a good comparison. If we take a look at, right? Joker Rotten Tomatoes. Because again, you've got to remember this, right? So when people are like, oh no, it's definitely review bombed, and I did this in my other video. It's had 42,817 verified ratings, 89%, right? Good, really good. Uh, 479 total critics with 68%. But then when we look at this, people are like, oh, no, it's definitely, it's definitely fabricated. Why is it definitely fabricated? There's only been 39 people that have reviewed on a critic scale uh, and 5,000 that have reviewed Batwoman. You've got to remember, Batwoman had a lot more crap thrown about it uh, in the media because Ruby Rose couldn't shut her mouth. If you can't shut your mouth and you keep, you know, insulting your potential viewer base, you're damn well sure they're going to watch it and you're damn well sure they're going to review it negatively. That's not even review bombed. You drew attention. Sometimes, sometimes, ladies and gents, it works. This outrage media, sometimes it works, a.k.a. Joker. You know, all the media spouted about it, saying it was bad and dangerous. 
Didn't draw negative uh, attention to it though. Drew positive. So this is the thing. Batwoman, nah mate. It sucks. And the ratings dictate that as well. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. Uh, please do bear with me today. And well, I don't know if I'm going to feel good tomorrow. So maybe tomorrow as well. Uh, as I try to bumble through this uh, sickness thing that I have. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I haven't missed age. Take care.